Oh, yeah. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Oh, it's been a long time. Dun, 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 dun. Tomorrow Land Lives. It's back. It's great. It's big. It's beautiful. The Tomorrow Land Transit Authority People Mover is moving people once again. Delay after delay after delay, adding up to more than a year. The People Mover is finally open. I'm so excited. Over the last long while, you've heard me talk about it. You've heard me complain about it. You even heard me sing about it. And the next thing, Santa, don't you think it would be super to work with your connections and just open people mover? And you would think after so many delays that I would just get used to a Disney World without the people mover, but it was the opposite. The delays only made my anticipation grow and grow. And now the day is officially upon us. It's April 26th. People Mover is officially open once more. Already gathering a crew of diehards here, ready to ride it on its first official opening morning. We are in line for the Tomorrowland Transit Authority, the People Mover, after over a year. It's alive. The people mover is alive. <laughs> Here we go. Once again, people climbing up the ramp. It's just an escalator ramp, but it feels so good. You can get anywhere in the park against the water. Wow. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. And now, Tomorrow Land Transit Authority proudly presents Progress City, Walt Disney's dream for an experimental prototype community of tomorrow. Progress City was the inspiration for Epcot, and many of its forward thinking ideas have been realized this throughout Walt Disney City. Small portion. That thing. That thing was the dead center of that town. It's so big. One 
one thing that's going to be real exciting about the Tomorrowland Transit Authority being open is we get to see the racers go, but also we're going to get some of the best looks at Tron we've got in a while. This was sort of the best way to maintain Tron construction updates because this is how you got basically the closest, best half bird's eye view of it. And man, is it coming along. Look at that. Yeah, it looks quite a bit, quite a bit different than it used to. It's really hidden behind Space Mountain, so you don't really get the scope of it until you're looking at it like right here. Oh boy. You can see everything. When that went through, one of the real wonders of the world, space the darkness of space consumes us. Space. Oh, we are in the mountain. Wow! Rockets everywhere! Oh yeah, Tom Mar. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Oh, it's been a long time. Too long. This is the part where it gets like eerily quiet. We're in the mountain and it's like you just have a psychological urge to also be quiet. You're traveling through here. In space there is no sound and it seems like that's proving true in this little pocket of the people mover. I see sunlight dust approach us. Yes. Sure to visit space Mountain while you're here for an adventure that Welcome back to Tomorrowland. That implies we really did go to place. No one in that one. You really get your money here on the people movement. It's like a 10 minute attraction. It's nice and it's leisure. It's relaxing. And you get to see just a little taste. You get a little taste of everything that Tomorrowland has to offer. They Walt even Disney's stop Carousel at the bathroom. In my flying adventure, hop on board the Astro Orbiter. Pilot your own spacecraft as you take a spin around the planet. So many possibilities here in our lab. There's drop rates. The New York World's Fair. This legendary circular theater celebrates the progress that has made our lives better. It's a perfect reminder that there's always a great day Beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of Always. Always. Hey, all This is Buzz Lightyear. Report there, Star Cruiser, and join me on this daring space mission. I guess he will never serve. But they're, they're defending the galaxy already. It's crucial that we have galaxy defenders. Especially here in Tomorrowland. So many worlds. That was a nice little momentum push. The rocket rock has to be push. So you get you get the thrills on this one too. Look at this, we're back, finally, tomorrow. on this great big, beautiful highway in the sky. The people. The people. And I, as a people, am moved to be back on the people. Your arms away from the doors and remain seated until the doors slide open automatically. Step onto the moving platform with Oh, it 
is good to be back. Wasn't quite updated. It still says temporarily unavailable, but a five minute wait. We know it's not temporarily unavailable because we just trekked on it. We traveled all around Tomorrowland aboard the revolutionary people mover. Oh man, it is so good to have the people mover back. It's kind of one of those things where you don't really know what you got until it's gone and having it not be here for a year, you really feel its absence. The people mover itself, just the cars constantly rotating around, even the messages that repeat as you walk in different areas of the, of the land, really add so much energy, so much kineticism that really makes Tomorrowland inviting. And it's the movement that really makes something come alive visually, even before you're on any attraction. And that's what I, that's what I love about the people mover. It's that movement that says, hey, come in and see what we got going on. It kind of makes me wish that the monorail would come a little closer just because it would add that little extra movement to Tomorrowland. I mean, there's already a lot of movement here. You got the Astro Orbiter spinning around. You got the Speedway cars. It's good stuff. When Tron, when Tron opens, there's going to be that extra movement to the roller coaster. The people mover is everywhere. You can see the people mover from almost any point in Tomorrowland. It still manages to be futuristic, even though it's really simplistic in its design. The whole thing, it's simple in nature, but it's just perfect in execution. And you get some of the best views that you can get in, not just Magic Kingdom, but all of Walt Disney World. Who would have thought just adding like 15 more feet to your eyeline would add so much more depth, so much more appreciation to the park that we're in. Ah, I love People Mover. It's been gone way too long. I also really love the history aspect. This was gonna be the main mode of transportation for everybody in Walt Disney's Epcot City, the Progress City. I kind of took it for granted before. It used to be something that I would stop and do every single time. And I think now that it's back, we got a lot of time to make up. So. Expect to see us on the People Mover a lot. Tomorrowland is healing. We got a lot of work to do. People Mover's back, but now we got this dead space where Stitch's Great Escape used to be. I wasn't the biggest proponent of Stitch's Great Escape. I thought it was okay, just okay. But I'd rather have something than nothing. It's the classic Disneyland attraction that now only exists here in the Magic Kingdom. Its significance in Tomorrowland is very important. I hope it never goes away because its value for this park, for this land, is immeasurable. And uh, I really like it also. But that's gonna do it for today, ladies and gentlemen, explorers, young and old. The People Mover is back, and there is much rejoicing. Until next time, we'll see you in the happy place. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Morrow, Mr. Tom Morrow. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon.